guys and thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to do a quick cleaning video. Took my Colt Defender out to the range. Put about uh, 50 rounds through it. So let's go ahead and get started. Show you it's empty. It had a snap cap in it, which I usually keep in. See it's empty. Okay. We're going to have to bring it this way to take it down. So I have a little piece of plastic I made for the recoil. Put it in there like that. And then you release it. Oh, sometimes it'll stay on there. They got one they sell for this too, but put it on there and just do it really slow. Okay, when, a, when this makes this get loose, you line it up, you push it in, that. pull out your pen. This will allow you to, you know, take the gun forward, okay, this will allow you to take out the whole mechanism here, the recoil rod and everything, because everything holds it in, okay, and everything is out, okay. Oh, take out the barrel. See, there's just a little bit of dirt in there. I keep it pretty well oiled. So let's get our, I use a brush, and I'll just get a little bit of paper towel. I use this Wilson Combat Cleaning Carbon Remover. So I just put it on there like that. It's kind of saturated. It doesn't really stink, which is nice. I get the breech face in there. Uh, right here in the breech face. See, I'm going to get in there real good. Okay. Get down in there. And on the rails. Up in here. Up where the extractor is up in there real good. You just take it, wipe it down, give it some more. Get up in the barrel here. This is how I clean it. You guys might do it a different way, but for me it works. Um, it's not really that messy. This this carbon cleaner it doesn't even stink. Carbon remover at all. Get along the rails on the side here. Get it real good there. It's really where you want it. Up in here. Okay. You can use some Q-tips. I'm just not using Q-tips right now. Wipe it in there. You have to get up and go to a different room in it. Oh, yeah. Let me get the Q-tips real quick. I have some Q-tips. Put a little carbon remover on that too. And you can get in there and in there along there. Get into all the nooks and crannies here. Get up in here. You're gonna need it anyway for the frame, so if we could get one, get a few. Okay. Then wipe it down real good. You still might have some stubborn stains in that breech face, and you might just get in there a little bit more. Get in here a little. Get your you gotta get it all wiped off real good. That's good enough. Okay, so she looks pretty good in there. She looks pretty clean. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the frame. I'm gonna pull a little bit more carbon remover in there. I do in here on the side rails, the side here. I like the uh, toothbrush because you can really get in there like that. You can really get in there and scrub a little. Futs it up. Do the Q-tip. Clean there. Up in there. Up in here. Up in here. Okay, and then like 
little bit more. It's really all there's to it. I just can okay, lay that aside. Barrel. I'm gonna wipe the barrel down real good like this. Um, I'll just take some carbon remover, run it through there until it kind of drips out of the my paper towel. And let's, I'll get my uh, rod here. And you don't really have to. I got a portable one I can use, but um, it doesn't really matter. So the hardest part of these things doing these is finding your adapters for them. That's the really the heck you put your adapters. Okay. Get an adapter for this. There. And what I usually just use is uh, a undersized brush. And I just put some um, paper towel on it. This way I don't scratch anything. Actually, ideally, a nylon brush is probably the best. Put a little of this in there. In there, take a piece of this paper towel, which works fine, and this actually gives makes it tight. And I'll just run through the barrel. Okay, so nothing's nothing's really scraping, but there is enough a little bit for it to scrape. So. Okay, take that off. Put another little piece of paper towel. I saturate it again. Okay. And I'll get another a little bit bigger piece. I'm going to dry it. Then I'm going to put some board polish through it since I have it. Okay. Yeah. And I, get, I have this board polish. This is supposed to polish it and uh, remove the copper. So I'll put a few hits in there. Got to shake it up. Okay. Put it in there. Get my paper towel again. Every each time I'm just using a clean one. So I'll just. Up in there and just turn it. I'm going to use a little bit more in there. A little dirty, but a lot of this is the color of the actual cleaner. Take that patch off. I'll throw one more through. Nice thing about the stuff I'm using, it will not sneak up. Uh, of the house, you know, or wherever you're using, you know, wherever you're cleaning. A lot of people don't have a dedicated room. I kind of clean it in my office. I have an office here. And this actually really is more polish. And look at the light. And that looks pretty good. It's pretty shiny in there. Pretty good. So now we can go ahead and put this back together. Okay. Our tools. Okay. All right. Here you can just wipe this off with your paper towel like this is fine. Just you know. Um, so you get your paper towel. So you can wipe the gun down a little if you want. Wipe your barrel down. Down your locking lugs and stuff. Clean. Okay, so it's pretty clean. Go ahead and lay your slide down. Put your barrel back. Okay, we got locking lug up. Drop it in there. Take this part in here. What I would do is just take a drop of lube right there. Just one drop of lube. Put the lube in there. Put that in. Just back in, drop straight in like that. Okay. Take, uh, go ahead and put a drop right here, a lube, one, 
one and I would drop one in here. Uh, you can put one on the feed ramp like that if you want and I would just move this a little there and maybe one drop in this rail and, and one there. You could put one depending on how much you cleaned it a drop on the joint there for the locking lug. Take it, flip it over like this. Put it in there. Put it down. Okay. Then you're going to be looking for your hull. A lot of times it helps just to put a one drop of lube in there. It'll actually let it, it'll be easier, kind of freer to go in there. So put your caps back on your cleaning stuff. Okay, bring it back. Make it until that hole. Okay, it's just gotta go right in that hole. A little, little. Okay, it's in. And on these, it's a little. I'm telling you, these are are kind of tough in here to do it. This had it not really scratches, but it had some rub marks when I bought it. So I'm just gonna do this to try to make it all go easier. It already had that. So bring it up like that. So, I'm put it in there, press it down, okay, and it's in. Okay, and I can block it back, and I can drop this little plastic tool I made here out. Okay, it comes right out. But I got slippery fingers, so there you go, just bring that forward, I should just push it right out. Okay, it's out, so. Okay, she's back together, get your cloth. And I, you know, I don't get idiot marks on them. Uh, whoever put it together before had little marks on her, but nothing really, you know, nothing bad. So there you go. She's all back together, and um, she's looking good. And that's the Colt Defender, and that is the 45 ACP, and that's how I clean it. And she's all cleaned up and ready for the range and. What I usually do, I'll take uh, a dummy round, and I always pop one in the gun like this while I'm storing it. Okay, so and I'll put it aside. So and you can take your paper towel, wrap it up, just throw it in the garbage. There's no signs that you worked on anything. But thanks a lot, and that is my cleaning video of my Colt Defender. And really, this is a nice little gun. And really, these grips really make it look nice. But thanks a lot, and have a great day. Uh, thanks for tuning into my video.